and now I'm just gonna briefly go through the inhibition so I'll, I'll do it again in three phases um, so we're at Macca's eating your food you know your burgers half eating now half eaten oh, there we go chomp 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 your burgers half eaten and uh, you find a fly I'll just draw a red fly here so that's what a fly looks like apparently so there's your fly you see the fly uh, you know and that really puts you off the sight sound and thought and it's really gonna you know, mess up your thought processes you're not going to be getting that input in the cerebral cortex and in fact you're going to be getting a that conditioned response is going to be knocked out and you're going to have a bit of a decrease in your vagal activity and then you know remembering that that affects everything um, and another thing is most people after finding their fly and their food are going to stop eating um, which means that you're um, maybe even get out of the place um, so that's going to knock out those receptors especially your taste and then you can see that that's going to decrease your stimulation to your medulla oblongata there and in turn that will decrease your vagal activity even more uh, and then another thing that can happen sort of in your sort of head space in your head area is um, you know say after you've found the fly you initially grossed out and then you get mad and you go off at the at the manager and the workers and so that's going to increase your sympathetic nervous system you know, it knocks out your vagal activity more and it also overrides um, the va um, vagal activity actually going on in your stomach so it also will you know, if you've got high sympathetic nervous activity will also knock out your local reflexes as well so um, moving away from the head and talking about sort of your more so sort of normal things that happen in the stomach is um, yeah. you've been eating it's a, it's a bit of time and all of this stuff has been happening and you've gotten more hydrochloric acid out in your parietal cells so that's going to um, decrease your pH in your stomach and this decrease in pH so um, below 2 for example um, that actually will activate D cells and that does that for your sympathetic nervous system D cells and these D cells um, will then secrete somatostatin um, I believe that has its own receptor as well in the parietal cell but its biggest effect is that it also inhibits your histamine so it also affects your ECL cells and reduces your histamine so we have a reduction of histamine through there and also for your acylcholine furthermore um, this low pH will also um, inhibit your G cells, so you never get you're not getting that positive input either. So that's also going to decrease your gastrin. Uh, um, so that's the basics for your stomach. The next thing is um, the intestinal phase. Um, and what happens there is after you know, before I talked about the um, when you have early gastric emptying, when you have a bit more and it's a bit more into your lower intestine what that does um, your low pH your proteins your fats um, your I'll do this in red um, and your irritants all that stuff um, what that causes is the is a enterogastric reflex three key things firstly it decreases vagal activity so even more, even less vagal activity because of this, and that's food in your um in there. Um, and what else it does is so it decreases your vagal activity. Um, it also increases your sympathetic nervous activity, um, which will then potentially also override these reflexes even more, causing and it also blocks off your parietal sphincter here. Um, and another thing it does is it um, also inhibits your local reflexes so that's over here these ones it also this reflex will also have an effect on them so you don't get that production of acylcholine either and then you don't get the the effects of it so that's that's its sort of neural pathway um, it also does some hormonal stuff hormonal um, the most important one that it, um, in the textbooks is secretin um, secretin works in a similar way to somatostatin in the sense that it inhibits your ECL cells. So that works there.
to inhibit them. Um, and it also does other ones. It also it also produces more somatostatin or leads to more somatostatin being raised. Um, and then it also has some others such as vasoactive intestinal peptide, VIP, and gastric inhibitory inhibitory peptide, GIP, and um, you know, others like CCK. And these have um, sort of specific effects as well. Like VIP does a lot to um, increase um, buffering H plus buffering in duodenum. So in here, it's going to increase the pH, and that's going to decrease ulcers in that area. Um, GIP has a sort of a, another effect on just decreasing the activity of the parietal cell. I'm not sure on the exact mechanism. CCT, I mean CCK. Um, bolsters or increases the effect of secretin and also has a lot of effects on like the uh, pancreas and gallbladder but I'm not gonna I'm not really talking about that right now so yeah um, that's the real basics of it um, and I talked a little bit long but that's okay